What's up, nerds? Back with another video. We've got a real juicy one. And if I seem a little excited, it's because I might not... Well, I know I'm never going to go back to this YMCA. I just know that... Oh, fuck. Ooh. What's up, nerds? Back with another video. We got a hot, steaming pile of justice. Freedom and justice that we are about to dispense today. Oh, my God. I have let these people slander my name for over a year, and I haven't had the proof. But guess what I found while going through all my stuff today, baby? Somehow, someone way i don't know how i couldn't find it i went through everything and i couldn't find it for months and today i'm making a uh, website for my handyman business and i'm going through my photos and it's just there just backed up in my google account just there all 40 minutes of glorious proof of me talking to these people figuring out everything and getting to the point where we make a, a an agreement on what we're doing going forward everything they are on board with and then fast forward and these are all the reasons that they're using to kick me out so we're going to do a brief recap of what they say for why they're kicking me out. And then we're going to go right back to the video and see if it lines up and see what the deal is. Because I have said since day one, and I have been upfront and transparent since day fucking one. And it sucks that I had to secretly record this fucking conversation so that I didn't get my fucking name slandered, but thank fucking God I did. Thank fucking God I found it because these motherfuckers are out here pretending like I'm some disrespectful asshole when they themselves, in their own words, describe my actions and my plan as chef kiss perfect. And you kick me out for it? I thought it was Chef's Kiss Perfect. So let's let's take a little look see. And real quick go back. I was approached by Cheyenne and Jill, the uh, uh, fitness director at Gilderland's YMCA. And they come up as I get into the hot tub. Well, Cheyenne comes up like, hey, we need to have a talk. I'm like, okay, well, so I have this whole thing. I, just to give you a visual, imagine me with a towel around my neck, in my swim trunks, with the swim cap, as they're k telling me they're kicking me out of the uh, YMCA. Because to start this all off, Cheyenne lies to me, says that I'm going to be able to go back in, so I'm sitting here while they're kicking me out in my fucking swimsuit with a towel on. Just to give you like an idea of the kind of people that I think we're dealing with. So again, it sucks I had to secretly record myself, but I mean, these people are starting off by lying and I wish I had this other thing on video because they accused me of inappropriately touching a minor when the situation was that they have a pool Zumba class with 300 pound people splashing around and the music's blasting and the fucking lifeguards up here and I'm a fucking ninja quiet keep to myself person so I get to the fucking side and I poke them to ask him a question oh and I'm inappropriately touching a fucking minor shut the fuck up and so when she Cheyenne came to get me out of the pool in addition to her asking about the uh, if I can go back in with the swim trunks I made sure to ask her hey did you get a chance to talk to the person in front? Because the person in front, who is a 
who is a friend of mine, at least at the time, was friendly with me. Actually, it's funny. She's having problems. Her son, they were saying all of a sudden after four years, that's a safety hazard for her son to wear a T-shirt in the pool because God forbid we let a self-conscious fat kid wear a fucking shirt in the fucking pool to cover himself. But, oh, no, we don't want people to fucking drown. Like, I mean, these are the kind of fucking people that we are dealing with. But anyway, so I made sure before to be like, Hey, that was miscommunication. We figured that out. We did that. You talked to her, same page, made sure to get that done, right? Made sure to clarify with her that that's not what this meeting was about. And then I go in, and what's the first thing she talks to me about? The inappropriate fucking touching, even though I had just fucking talked to her about that. And I wish that I had that on video, but that's not included in this video evidence. I just had to go through it first because this section of the suspension meeting with Jill and Cheyenne, it includes that part because literally, like, they're so dishonest She's so she's so dishonest. Cheyenne, I would literally like I confronted her about that right there. And then she immediately used that as the first reason why they're kicking me out. And so that's why these first two things. And so now we're starting off on suspension meeting with Joe and Cheyenne three. This is where the video that I have comes into play. Sorry, but I just wanted to give full context. Sorry about that. But. You know, I've spent a lot of fucking time on this. So now, suspension meeting with Jill and Cheyenne. After the inappropriate touching was discussed, Cheyenne brought up multiple occurrences of rule breaking. Hmm, interesting. Which included disrespecting the lifeguarding staff. I asked her specifically what those were because I had been approaching every lifeguard before swimming. And I even thought I was following all the rules that we had established during our conversation with Lisa. Cheyenne then informed me that I was disrespecting the lifeguards by telling them what I was going to do and not caring about their response. I asked, why didn't anyone tell me sooner? Because I had literally, in this conversation before she brought it up, talked about my interaction with the lifeguards in a positive way. I mean, I thought that I was doing exactly... I thought I was checking with the lifeguards before dunking a couple seconds, no longer than like five, eight seconds after talking about the rules and everything. But instead of talking to me about any of that, after telling me this was exactly what they wanted, they counted all of those situations, waited until it was enough, and then used it as an excuse to kick me out. So now let's check the footage and see, does that line up with what I said? So I've got down here 36, I time stamped everything. So this is describing what I will do moving forward that Lisa responds with chef's kiss perfectly. So let's take a look-see and I just need to turn off my headset so there's no feedback, but let's let it rip. Do that. So if if that's so welcome to do that. because I got I got no problem just saying, hey, Mr. Lifeguard, I, I I'm gonna hold my breath for five seconds tops. By the time you scan back or what when you do your 10 second scan, I will be above on above. Like you know, I can. I, I that's perfect. I still want you to hear me. I still want you to be able to have your me time and everything. Yeah. It's, it's so good for everybody and it's yeah. so necessary. And there's people who don't get enough. So I still want you to be able to do that, but I also want you to be able to talk. So I, again, I've got a million different, I'm like scrolling down and like seeing, cause I don't have my headphones on cause I don't want the feedback into the microphone, but hopefully you heard, heard that chef's kick. Perfect. We want you here. This is exactly this is a, a 40 of it's uh the the conversation starts at four minutes something so 33 so it's essentially a 33 ish 30 minute conversation talking about everything can you imagine i caught my headphones i caught them um but like all of that talking about all this shit getting to the end and then saying that i'm disrespectful after we have her earlier in this in this saying, uh, let's see. 
So let's and see. Hold on. My, uh, oh, my, my headphones are on. I already have this, uh, uh, you know, in my head, I've got this, uh, you know, uh, police report or like, you know, a, a, a rap so sheet like with. So I wanted to just, you know, because I. So I know what you're referring yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. And you absolutely do not. You were the one of the, in that group of three, you were one of them about the back door. Yeah. You were the one that apologized and was polite and was accepting. You were not on my radar. Okay. <laughs> Like, so she's saying that me, she, they're kicking me out for being disrespectful, using, saying that all of these times I'm telling the lifeguards what I'm doing. Even though we ta just talked about how I'm going to be approaching all of them, saying just what I'm doing, Cheyenne even, there, we have another part in the video where she's saying that she, Lisa ad admits that 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 the lifeguards are exactly that they have that they do discriminate at me that they do target me and watch me and she, she admits that so are you not and part of the reason why this is happening is because they talk to you about it so is it not are you not going to talk to them and be like hey we talked to luke and he said that he's gonna come up and talk to you guys before he's just gonna like whatever like you know so keep an eye like did she not tell them that like because all the times they, they they cite all of these multiple times of disrespect and it's like you, you couldn't have told me this after I was just doing exactly what we talked about so but hold on here's another thing uh bum, bum, bum. we're here to make sure we're having a conversation da, 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 da. they thank me hold on, hold on hold on she admits yeah 25 here we go yeah No. And they're not going to pay attention to the point where you feel like you're being targeted or looked at a lot. Because I, I guess, to, and I guess, you're like, that's, she's like, it's, she's saying it as if, I get it, if you're not familiar with social cues and different things like that, it's like, oh, well, she's just like telling you that like, oh, this super specific thing just for this scenario, like, oh my God, it's like, it's almost like, you know, I mean, not saying they are, but I mean, like, I'm sure that these high school lifeguards that totally, like, don't gossip all day at work and totally, like, aren't, like, some of them, like, twigs and can't actually save anybody. God forbid anything happens, but, like, you know, they're so nervous that they are paranoid about anything happening because deep down they know that they'll never be able to do anything to help anybody, but, you know, they were able to sneak this job in and it's like they don't want to mess up. Like, you know, like, oh, my God. Like, it, it's, you know, they're totally not, like, you know, not doing that, not paranoid about. So it'll be nice to hear that they don't need to feel that way. Not like that's how they feel. Like, you just, I, I get it that on the outwards, it's like, oh, well, she just said, like, they're totally not, like, dude, it's like, read between the lines. That's obviously what they're talking about. That's obviously part of why she's up here. That's why they approach me, like, you know, it's not like I'm fucking stupid. That's why... I like approached all of it. That's why I recorded this how I did. That's it sucks, but that's why I did this. That's why I it took me. It sucks that the proof is that kind of uneventful, like fucking couple seconds at the end where they we just say whatever. But I mean, like this whole video, they try to paint me as this disrespectful code conduct breaking guy. But all of these timestamps down here are all various situations where I'm just trying to be I'm communicating I'm trying to be understanding like none, none of it's it's all under the premise of not breaking any of the rules making sure we're being adult about this and yet they they turn around and kick me out for code of conduct breaking say that and they and they have they don't have a rap sheet against me but yet they keep all of these things instead of talking to me about it it's like i don't have a rap sheet but you didn't tell me about the six times i was disrespectful that were piling up so like is it do i not have a rap sheet or just not have a rap sheet yet because now you after this conversation now you have one like uh, what 
Uh, that's just so dishonest and fucking evil. And I can thank fucking God I had this video to fucking, oh, baby. Oh, I'm going to sleep so good tonight after I'm finally done recording this bitch. Oh, my Lord. Smoke grass, eat ass, be excellent to each other. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Deuces.